Throat Baby? You never heard of that song? You never heard Throat Baby? Never heard Throat Baby. Who it's sings It's not an artist, it's a song. It's a song, yeah. I know it said who sings Throat Baby. It's like RKS. Oh, yeah, RKS, cash or man. He on some crazy shit, but Throat Baby, man. Right? Never heard of that. You know what that is? Throat Baby. No. No. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to rap it to you because it's it'll be major pause. But... Yo. Is it, wait, is, it a fe- is it a female? It's, it's on my, it's on my uh, playlist. My demon top no, playlist. It's a, it's a guy singing. It's, it's a guy singing a guy, Throat guy. Baby. But he's, he's, he's talking about what he wants to do with the throat. Yeah. With throat her baby? throat yeah. or his yeah. throat? With her throat. With her, her throat. throat. All, right. All right. I'll check it out. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's a new Boy. vibe, man. This is how we started it all? <laughs> yeah, I think so, man. I don't know. You get progressive, man. Yeah. They get progressive. Actually, I did want to talk to you about something. Um, so, like, you know, y'all know me. I'm not really a DM, like a DM guy. Like, I don't, like, that's not my thing. I don't really DM girls. Mm. So, I, I was like, you know what? Let me test it out. So, I decided to test it out, right? Yeah. So, I DM this girl. I just hit her with, like, just hit her with, like, some basic bars. I was like, hey, yo, like, let me take you out sometime, right? Mm. Okay. You know she told me? You know what's my response? This is why, this is why I don't DM. This is, fellas, why we don't DM out here, right? Yeah. Mm. Don't imagine. You know what she told me? She said... Yeah, after my third trimester. Whoa. What? She what? said Tri- yes, but so I was like, oh, you in school. Like, that's what's up. Oh, like, semester. Oh, semester. Oh, so like, oh, you in school. Don't say that. You're you're educated. Educated. <laughs> semester, trimester is two different things. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, so you just really smart. I was like, you really smart. Oh, you were doing your homework. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing homework. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, it was just something I, I thought it was kind of funny because it was just kind of like, yo, what the, like, you know what I mean? But like, I, so it wasn't even like, yo, no, I'm, I'm, I'm prego. It was like, no, after after the third trimester, I'll be ready. Mm. Ready for what? Ready for yeah. Well, I don't know. Ready for commitment? What was the post? What was the picture you responded to? That's important. You know? mm, I, don't remember. Well. I don't remember. I don't remember. You have to remember. You got. You always remember. Er, man. Yeah, don't do that. It's like the gender reveal. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you, you shot it. The gender gender reveal reveal thing? I'm just playing. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Yo, <laughs> yo, I am so, baffled right now. Mm. Man. Hey, but welcome back to Sweeter Man Podcast. This is episode 48. 48. Um, it's your boy Nick, aka the anti hero. Uh, it's your boy Will, aka Mr. Potter, aka Curve Gotti. Do not go into my mentions. Do not DM me. I will not reply. Mm, it's your boy T, T Squared, Cup of T. Know what it is. We back again. We back again. Um, And we got. Oh, jo- we got JoJo, Jojo. we got Slade, yeah, Slade as always. Uh, you know, the crew. The crew. Um, yeah. How y'all been, man? How y'all been? I feel like I've spent more time with y'all these last couple weeks than in a long time. Yeah, man. I mean, holiday season, bro. Yeah, yeah man. You know, take time to spend time with those you care about, you know what I mean? So, mm, you gotta spend that. it together. I feel that. Yeah, man. It was good, you know? No, I've been good, man. Um... You know, this is kind of, this will probably be our last episode of the year, you know yeah. what I mean? So we kind of thought it'd be cool to do kind of like a, like a 2020 wrap up, you yeah. know what I mean? Just kind of talk mm-hmm. about kind of how the year went, how, how we feel about it, the goods, the bads, and that. then, you know, and various other topics, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but I did want to talk like, what was something like in 2020, what did it like, what did it teach you? Taught me patience. Taught me patience, mm-hmm. it taught me... It taught me to like learn to like really just be to myself for myself. Like what I mean by that is that, you know, these guys be like on my ass all the time about like oh, always going out, you know, you're the so so correspondent and shit like that. But obviously, you know, as uh, twenty twenty with Corona and stuff like that, it was a lot of like staying in, all that mm-hmm. stuff, a lot of saving. Slow down, a lot of slowing down, yeah, right? Slow down. <laughs> I guess so, right? So I mean, you know, I value more time to myself, more, you know, time to like you know, the seven of me is going out and just you know, hanging out with people and stuff like that. You know, putting my ears to the streets. I'm more, you know, like what I like. You know, what am I? What are like what hobbies I have? You were, you were, um, you were reflecting on what what your body needs. I was reflecting on what my you, body. You're needs. using yeah. yourself needs. What you were like listening to your body. Mm-hmm. You're in tune. <laughs> I'm in tune with my body. In tune with your body. What are you talking about? <laughs> like you just like you would you like run like a warm bath or? Yeah. Oh no, I mean. Not like that, but like don't, just, get, don't get defensive. Don't it's get okay defensive. for a male to be in tune yeah. with the body, bro. <laughs> like when you were self exploring. What were you self exploring? Yeah, yeah cool, what you said? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, bro. Like feel it, feel it, feel yourself sometimes, bro. Oh shit, there just, we go. Just, just feel it out, bro. Before you go any further. Nah, um nah, just more just more time like, you know, like just enjoying my own company. I should say, just bottom line. You know, just that's mm. pretty much what I learned from myself is to enjoy my own company. And you know I don't have to I don't have to find a good time or happiness from other people. I can just kind of just mm. be happy with myself. 
You know what I mean? Just make, no, make I, myself. No, I actually agree with Will on this because, yeah. like, like, for me personally, like, I feel like as much as I'm antisocial, like, I like being, I've always liked being around my friends, right? Or, like, being around people. Like, I, have a, I struggle with being alone. Mm-hmm. So, like, lately, like, I've just been dolo and, like, loving it. Like, I'm, I'm chilling, just kind of figuring myself out, self-exploring, like Will. Um, and, like, just really just kind of seeing what I like to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, like watch my TV shows or, like, you know, just do whatever my, my hobbies are. You know, go work mm-hmm. out for a couple hours, whatever. But, like, I've enjoyed my, like, my solitude. Yeah. You know? It's not bad. It's not bad. Solitude. Sometimes. Yeah, man. I think I just learned, you know, enjoy the interaction, yeah, with the people, man. You know, you never know next time you're going to see that person. So even, like, mm, mm-hmm. your barber, man. You don't know next time you're going to see your barber. Man. <laughs> so it's like, enjoy those times. Yeah. Enjoy these the special moments with each other, bro. Yeah. Enjoy the simple things. Not, it always got to be a big thing, bro. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, enjoying, enjoying the company where you're with because, you know, it's not... We, we can't see each other as often because there's not a lot of places to go. Exactly. You can't just, like, go to each other's places all the time. and. Mm-hmm. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm happy. I'm like, hopefully COVID is going to be done next year because, <clears> like, I'm, tar- I'm tired Ooh. of of COVID. Like, we got to be real. We use COVID as, like, a cop-out like yeah. like cop sometimes, right? Like, we, 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 we use it when it's convenient. It's the card, man. It's, it's the Trump card. It's such it's a crazy man. card. I like what you did there. No, not like that. Like, oh, not the like Trump, that. Trump card. Oh, not the Trump, oh, but, yeah. you know, like, the Trump oh, card has, like, <laughs> the cards. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see, sure. I see you, bro. Okay, <laughs> got some red on you had today, man. No, we can't do that. We you cannot. Are, we you can't on do your that. pun, man? Pun, <laughs> aka big pun, aka punny will. Cause you're being funny. Yo, oh. no, nah, we can't. We're not giving you that. <laughs> no one Oh my god. Hey, but real quick, I, I, off topic though, I really want to talk about like kind of. I was thinking about this the other day, like, like I think too much of the time, like we we take breakups like too seriously. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I thought about this the other day. Actually, I was thinking about this while I was driving the other day, but, like, yo, how many times do you date somebody for, like, you know, let's say, like, three, four years, right? You date somebody for three, four years, um, and in that time, you're together, you guys hit each, hit each other with, oh, I can't see myself with anybody else but you, right? Jesus, And we, bro. you know, but you know, you know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, I've been, I've heard when, that you know, when y'all connected or whatever, that's what y'all talk about, but then, like... Y'all break up, week two later, they're dating somebody else. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fellas, yo, don't take it so serious. Don't take it so serious. Mm. Yeah, we can't, you know, I feel like people can't really harp on breakups so seriously because not only that, I mean, as you get older, you kind of get to know, like, how people try to progress. Like, I mean, obviously at the time, you know, it's right, but sometimes when you break up, depending on how it goes, you know, you guys become strangers again. So at least, you know, you get a time to reinvest in yourself and go out there and give somebody else a chance. And I feel Yeah, but not that fast. I feel like I feel like there's um there's like um like an irony in a relationship is you truly don't know what type of person you're dating until after the relationship. You see what I'm saying? That's actually very true. Cuz I think I, agree with that. I, agree with that. I think yeah. though is like you can't like you could be dating wifey for years, but then her true character doesn't show until after y'all break up, right? Like, if y'all break up and then within a week or two she's on Tinder or she's like yeah, going, she's, or she's just yeah. hoeing out to get over it, yeah. that's who you were wifing up. Yeah. And I'm not just saying it for ladies, I'm just saying it because, you know, we mumble my guys, but it's the same thing with, you know, us fellas too, right? Like, we break up, yo, I'm gonna smash all these other girls or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the dude you was dating. And I feel like it's kind of the irony. So I've like, Looking at the grand scheme of it, look at the big picture of it. You can't take that shit serious. Can't man. Sometimes you gotta reinvent your reinvent the wheel. You know well, what happens to make it yourself different. Mm-hmm. Like um, how girls get a know, new I, haircut when they yeah. Or like if I if I got a new job, like if I wasn't working back then, I got a new job. Like I'm, I'm a different dude. Like I'm at a different stature, guys. bro. You, you don't know. You dated. You may have thought you dated this T. Yeah. You're not dating this T now. Yeah. You yeah. So you you're different, man. Yeah, yo, you were dating, you were dating, uh, what do they call that shit again? Part time. Part time. Well, it's kind of like full time. Intern. You were, you were intern. You dated intern. Intern, but now look at you. Know, you know. But it's kind of That's the same because, like, uh, like you know, like insecure, like, like Lawrence. Oh yeah, Lawrence. Mm, he yeah, bossed yeah. up in the next season. You yeah. know what I mean? Yo, big time. He was a bum on the couch, but then once you know they broke up, he, he found up. He found himself he found bossed himself. up. Mm-hmm. He's like, yo, you smashed that one dude. Fuck that shit. Went on a spree for like a season. <laughs> Yeah, man. Went nuts. Yeah. 
if you live in space changes, that kind of changes your whole outlook on things, man. You know? mm. And how you move and stuff. Yeah, how you move, bro. Yeah, I, I just brought this up because I feel like, you know, this winter time is when relationships are created and broken, right? So, like, this is like a time... That if you just got out of a relationship, I sound like an ad. Yeah. If you just got out, if you just got out of a relationship, yeah. no, but, but no, but seriously, though, like, but no, but it's like I learned, like, yo, don't take that shit so serious, bro, because like, yeah, I got you. You guys, you know, what I've learned is like just through courses of a, a few relationships, you always make a couple promises. trimesters, right? Yeah, a couple trimesters. <laughs> 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 But no, nah, no, nah, he's right. He's absolutely no, but he's absolutely right. Which that was kind of nuts, but That's nuts, but man. like. You don't really know what person you're with. Like you, you make all these like promises together. Like mm -hmm. I remember I dated a chick, and we promised each other. Like we promised each other, yo, no matter what, even if we break up, no, no dating apps. Please don't go on a dating app. Please don't right. go on a dating app. Right. Mm. But how'd you both find each other on a dating app? Mm, Actually, <laughs> oh no, no I, haven't, I haven't found that. Just, hey, what that would be kind of funny though. Would you swipe? Would you swipe right oh, yeah. if you saw your ex on the dating app? Actually, for me, it wasn't. Actually, one of my, my homeboys showed me. One of my homeboys actually oh, okay. took me to the side and was like, hey, yo, I found your ex on a dating app um, and found her on Bumble. But, no plug, but no plug. at the time, it was like years past, so I didn't really think nothing of it, you know, but it was one of those like situations where I was like, oh, damn, she's still looking. Like, but like, you know. <laughs> damn, what a slight. No, 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 no slight now. No slight. It's all love, but it's mm -hmm. just at the time, you just kind of like. Everybody. That's how much time had passed that I didn't care, oh, you know. But it was one of those things I thought, like, I could have swore we said that no matter what, we would not be on a dating <laughs> app. I got, I but mean, I honored it. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't on a dating app. Bruh, I I'll give you a better story. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you some of my back. Girls, we gonna say we not sure. We honored things after the relationship. We don't honor it during, during the relationship. but after yo, after, yo I promise. I'm on my shit. I'm on my shit. <laughs> I promise you, I'm on my shit. That's crazy. Yeah, I try to see my man. All right, see, that's you got that one. <laughs> um, nah, but me, I mean, like, kind of like what you said with that kind of thing. You, you know, you prom I've been promised that, like, you know, yo, like, I won't. Like, you know, you're, you're for me, because I, I broke it off. And mm -hmm. they're like, oh, you're for me. Like, I uh, I can't see myself on anybody else. You know, all that shit, right? And I was like, yo, in my head, I was like, yo, please do. Please do that. Like, you know what I mean? Not in a bad way, because, you know, she deserves her happiness, whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, it was more along the line, like, you, you know, you just say shit at the time. You know what I mean? You don't really mean it, because at, at the time, like, a month or two later, like, I found out like an Eskimo brother off of that. <laughs> like the same girl who told me that now I'm was over here. immediately like now I'm high fiving dude like three months later. That's crazy. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. I didn't say name, so it's all good. <laughs> but but see but that's but that's the point proven though is like it's mm -hmm. like um like I don't know if y'all remember like like a high school breakup. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I remember I remember being in a high school breakup and I remember her telling me, yo, you left a scar on my heart that will never, you know, be a scar forever or some shit like that. Mm. But like, and at the time I was like, yo, you probably right. And I probably feel hurt about it, you know, but then at the time. think about it now. It's like, you're like, that was stupid. You know, that's why mm -hmm. I like, it's like, yo, like everybody, you know, guy, girl, whatever, like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. With, I think time heals all. I think after with time, like, like you forget moments with people. You know what I'm saying? Which actually, I do want to talk about that one day where you can talk about mm. like, like past relationships, yo. Like, if you so many years have passed, like you you forget who they were as a person, like or like your day to days with them. I know we've talked about this yeah, off air a few times, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one day, yo, just remind us to talk about this one day. But you know, flag this way. but flag that point one time, you know, one time. One time. Mm. I know the story. T knows the story, but the people don't know the story, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, so. You were you were seeing this chick, right? Y'all you know, seen each other for quite some time, and then she got with a friend, mm -hmm. or an Eskimo bro. Yeah, right? we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll do that. We'll say Eskimo bro. Right? Eskimo we'll bro. do that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but how was the becoming of this? How'd you find this out? Like, what was? Yeah, how the news break? How right? the news break? From the source. <laughs> <laughs> From the source. <laughs> I don't know. It was just a time, you know, time of day. You were there. Uh, it was a time and place. Yeah, I gotta stop putting me in these. Like, you know, I know that every time I tell the story, I go, yo, Nick was there. Like, yeah, there. Yeah, don't do that. By the way, don't hit up Nick for any, any uh, you know, material. You ain't gonna get it. Um, 
But, so basically, I don't know, I was just one day chilling, vibing, you know, friend, I don't know, friend of the show, possibly. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Either. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, like, he he came up to us, you know, knew him high school and shit. Um, very cool. Cool people. No no problem with him. Mm-hmm. And he mentioned to me, like, I, you know, like I said, like, you know, it was, it was, it was time and place, you know, it was over with. I don't know, move on, things like that. And he just kind of doubled back on it. He's like, hey, um, I said, hey, by the way, I don't know how like, he even mentioned it. He's like, hey, by the way, do you know such and such? And I was like, yep. What about it? Mm-hmm. And he was like, Eskimo Bros! <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and to the, I mean, you know, <laughs> I was like, I was surprised. <laughs> and, you know, uh, but at the end, like, I, I was cool with it. Like, but I, like now, like, the the. Dating, dating. I Bro, think, don't give someone a sauce. I think, no, but, I think, sauce. No, but I'm just saying at the time, <laughs> which, fellas, we got to stop doing this. Yeah. We're like, we'll like front, like we're just like, just fucking around. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know how many times you met a dude, but no, I'm just smashing that chick. And then now like, they married. Mm. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Got to stop doing that. Yeah, I got to stop doing that. But yeah. And don't, and don't leave the guy, your ex my brother behind, bro. Like, we cool. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but like I mean to that like no slight you know shots their happiness shots of them all that stuff you know I I condone other people's happiness that's what's up, but um I'm just saying you know don't let that shit stop like anything you know like don't because like you don't think y'all cool like that no more. I mean I don't, I'm cool I love everybody I'm cool with everybody. Mm-hmm. I mean what other people may think about me is different I can't say it because I can't speak for other people. Yeah. So well, would, would you want other would you want Eskimos at the wedding though? Oh. Would you want? Wait, like, wait, as, like, if I marry somebody, they're Eskimos coming either? Yeah, yeah Eskimos. But, like, same situation. Yeah, same situation. I mean, Absolutely not. So you ain't so you gonna just, be there. Yeah, like, <laughs> you're just backtracking, man. You ain't gonna be there. Wait, yeah. what are you talking about? Wait, I'm confused you're now. Just not, you're just not cool with that person. Like, if, it, if you were the other, if person, the other person, if I was the him, yes. Yeah. And would you want you would to I, be at get, the wedding? Would I accept a wedding invitation to him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even look at me as I laugh. No, I'm asking. I'm asking. I have what you said, man. I mean, no, I, I wouldn't. I, I just like you know. I mean, it's cool. Shout out to you, but I don't want. I don't want to look and say I do, and then look at you like. <laughs> no, no. You're gonna be like, I did it. I did. I, I did it. You said that. I do, but I did I it. Did. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, I had a chance. You didn't say shit. That's crazy. <laughs> Nah, I mean, you know, shout out to you getting that slight on me, you know. But do you ever, do you ever think like, like, all right, like, I know we were talking about this a little bit off air, like, every time you're done with a chick, no, like, every time you're done with a chick, and then, like, she gets married, right? Oh, my God. Like, she gets married. Yeah. Do you ever think, like, yo, damn, if I stayed on course, would that have been me? Mm. You always think that, man. Honestly. Dang. Or, like... I'll do that. Or like you know they yeah, have yeah. like a baby or something. You're like yo, if that well, that oh, could have been yeah, me. that could have been me. Yeah, like, honestly. I'm just showing. You mm. see Instagram after a while, you just scrolling through the timeline like, oh damn, like that could have been me, man. Like, I've had shaggy, Inst- bro. That, <laughs> bro, that could have shaggy. Bro, I don't know, man. But... I mean, I never do. I, it could have been me. I just you know. You but... never think back and be like, yo, like you don't ever imagine like going to the wedding and like stop, like you know, stop. Mm. I loved her. Like, you don't ever mm. think of that? Or you just kind of like let it go? Her happiness is her happiness. There's there's a few. <clears throat> there's a lot. I'm going to say a few. There's a lot of people that obviously, you know, that I've come across and, you know, liked at one point and had, you know, intimate moments or whatever. But, you know, obviously, I push for happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there is, there's always an instant that there's a one girl that the one that got away or whatever. Mm. Um, there's always one of those in the back of your head, but at the end of the day, like... Do you ever think a girl looks really... at you as, like, the one that got away? You gotta tell them. I don't know. You don't think? Mm. T? I, I, I can't, like I said, I can't speak for other people. Yeah, I mean, I like to think of myself as, you know, quality, luxury. So you're a luxury? Like, I like I you're you're I like, a, like a Uber Lux? Yeah, yeah, you know, hard, <laughs> hard to find, exclusive. Like so an yeah. exclusive shoe? Yeah, exclusive, yeah, exclusive sh- shoe, yeah, I think I'm... Got you, got you, got you. Everybody is somebody. Everybody is somebody's reason. Yeah, that's not true. That's not true. There is somebody. There is somebody for everybody. There is somebody. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. lie. Oh my god. Don't listen. No, not not everybody has somebody. Yes, they do. No, if you continue to stay who you are. See what I'm saying, Mm. Slate? Look, Mm. look. Mm. Look. All (laughs) all I'm saying is. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just just playing. The listeners. 
this man just flicked his head off. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, no, I'm just saying like, like, you have to, you can't just be like, assume that if you stay just as you are and refuse to change anything about yourself, that there's somebody Okay, now you. I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? There might be someone for you, but you have to go through those two or three bad, shitty relationships mm -hmm. to discover who you are, what you need to improve. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. if, if every day or every year, like that's why it's a 2020 wrap up, if, if you didn't learn shit about yourself in 2020, is, yeah. you're fucked in 2021. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm I feel saying? like every year you should like learn more about yourself. You should and, learn more about and yourself. And be more, yeah. Yeah. If you can't make more of, a, more of an inside like who you are as a person and you're just stuck in like the social media, like, like what runs mm -hmm. social media, what, what t they tell you is the norm, and yeah. you're not gonna, you're not gonna you're change. Not gonna grow. Yeah, you're not gonna grow. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna get stuck with like settling with somebody. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we're getting, we're digressing. We're now digressing. We digress. We, digress. we, digress. we, digress. we digress. So, T, I know we're just talking a little bit off air. What were you saying? We talked a lot off air. Yeah, shit. We talked a lot off air. We talked a lot of stuff. We should we actually start recording air. while we're off air. So no, absolutely not. Share it. <laughs> absolutely. Jonah's like, hell no, yeah. yeah. No. no. Nah, but yeah, no, nah, I think we had, like Will said, I had some of the same uh, experiences um, in mm -hmm. my younger days in college, you know. Mm -hmm. Someone I was real close to with, um, good friends, good buddies, you know, we found out that we uh, traveled the same course. So it's mm -hmm. has similar interests. Similar interests, man. Got it. You know, and I think when you experience those type of scenarios, you really find out, you know, who's your friend or not. Because I feel like you, you could go through those experiences with the same person together. Mm -hmm. And when you bring it up in conversation, they try to downplay it mm. or they try to be like, nah, it wasn't it. Mm. But sometimes if you could bond over that, mm. it just makes relationships stronger between you guys, man. Like, but did you guys bond over it? Yeah, like we, we really Bro. didn't know what it was. And then it was brought up like, oh wow, you know so-and-so? Oh yeah, I know so-and-so. Wait, just, how do you know so-and-so? <laughs> That's nice. How? That's nice. Look at his face. Not, nice. No, because I have, I have a moment like that, too. Oh, here we go. Now, oh, we're now this 2020 wrap-up right yeah. here. <laughs> but how'd it go? Like, did they, like, try to sun you in a moment? Or was it, like... In a, so, a mine, mine like, 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 me, I'm not really, like, a, I don't, like, I'm not a kiss-and-tell type dude. So, oh, I just, yeah. like, you know, it was, like, my freshman year of college. Mm -hmm. I, like, bagged this chick or whatever. And, like... It was cool. We kind of split. She did her thing. I did my thing. It was like, oh, I didn't, it was whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I was like, it was actually a coworker of mine and we were just chopping it up. And then she happened to walk by mm -hmm. and he was like, yo, I hit that like a couple months ago. What? You try to sun you? But, no, no. He didn't know that I did. Oh, he was yeah, just okay. telling me, he was just trying to flex on it. I see. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him and I was like, Yo, me too. And then from there he was like, oh, and then he got hyped too. Like, oh shit. Like Eskimos. Really? Like, yeah, like it looked like like he just like like you know like was it uh you know like you can do the DNA test to find like lost me family members like he was like <laughs> he that height like was that that twenty three and me it was like twenty three and me he was like, wait wait what and he like you know we like linked like locked arms yeah, locked arms <laughs> wait, why are locking arms <laughs> I don't know but okay so, so you're still cool with this guy. I mean, I haven't talked to him in a while, but like, I'm sure if I reached out to him, he, yeah, would, be cool. he would help me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I the only guy that's not cool with anybody? <laughs> and I want to be cool. <laughs> Got to reach out to him. Yeah, I did. Reach out, but with the, <laughs> but the, I think the difference is, right, like, like T, like your friend, is he currently seeing that girl? No, no, that was just a one time. It was a one time thing. So yeah, that's probably what the bond was. Oh over. yeah, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Your person is like currently with. Mm. Like very much happy. Yo, <laughs> you're making people like put the pieces together. Like, let's stop talking. About this. <laughs> The same, man. No, I'm the same, but like, I'm like, kidding, like I'm you kidding. know, all jokes. There's all jokes. <laughs> <laughs> this free, this free talk. So my one of my favorite moments of 2020 was, um, you know, I was lucky enough able to go to Chicago mm. recently, a couple months ago. Yeah, yeah. And it was around the time, you know, really good moment, you know, for the for the country, okay. you know. Joe Biden, man. Joe Biden won officially at that time. Mm. I was in Chicago, big, big, huge blue state. Super support of that, bro. Ha the whole like my first night there, nuts. Like people were like, so you were there when the election happened. You were in Chicago. I was there when, when, they they, when the final poll was there. Okay, okay, okay. Like when they were like, yo, like Joe Biden won this. Okay, you know what I mean? Like that very first moment. Mm. Yeah, I was there, man. It was it was dope. You're, you're happy, you're excited, man? Hell yeah, the city was fire. The city was like all the way up. Like, 
I don't know. I just like that moment. It's like, you know, like a part of me, a big relief. Mm. Part of me, very excited for, you know, what's to come. And like, it was just lit, bro. Like everybody was like super supportive. Everybody was like cheering, you know, just popping bottles and stuff. Like literally like in the streets. And I was like around like Broadway, Chicago Broadway. Mm. And that was like the main strip in that area. And bro, there was like people just like swaying. People were just like outside the cars and ghost riding the whip. It was nuts. Like it was like really cool. I like it was like a really good like environment, a really good time, you know, that moment. And yeah, no, that was a historic moment. So I, I mean, definitely, I remember that moment. Yeah, I, mean, I was at home by myself, but uh, <laughs> I remember that. No man, I yeah, that was, I, that that was man. yeah. That that like honestly, man, I can't even like like tell y'all like how dope that was. Like, that was a did you did you cry or? I got turned. <laughs> I was I was out there getting lit with everybody. I was like, yo, like, we were just, we were just all happy, like, random people dapped them up, you know, like, homeless people just, like, shotgunning beers and shit, it was, like, crazy out there, it was, <laughs> it was dope, man, it was, it was, I don't know, it was a really good moment, and it was, like, a very, you know, very memorable moment for me, at least, you know, mm. looking back at it. Yeah, that's true, man, CNN had us watching, like, sports Center, man, I remember that time, man. Yeah, it I was, was everywhere. I was tuned in, man. Yeah, man. I was tuned in, checking the stats. Yes, sir. It was good. It's great. So, any any uh, favorite moments <laughs> for uh, Nick? Man? Anything happen? Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. You know, it was long. It was a long year. Long year, man. Not really. I mean, honestly, not really. not, <laughs> uh, a lot of self reflection. A lot of them. Yeah, I don't really. I didn't really have. I don't think I really had like a favorite moment. I think twenty twenty was more for me. Is like like I do a thing where every I I take I do everything every other year. So like I I practice like. Like 2019 is my year, so then 2020 is like my, I put my head down, I grind, and I prep for 2021. Mm -hmm. So then 2021 is going to be like the next year that I make like a move. So like 2020, I really didn't do much. I mean, other than the podcast, probably my favorite moments was like a lot, we did a lot more towards, you know, uh, we did a lot more collabs, we did more events, like, True. you know, yeah, kind yeah. of building our brand a little bit. I think that's more like what I focused on this year, but I don't know, I was chilling. Hey, we didn't even let you guys know. Cop the crib, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah so yeah, like, yeah, so like, like, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, got, yeah, got this, homeowner and shit, so, got this you know. piece of land. What a house, you know what I mean? But, land, yeah, yeah, man. It's cool. No, nah, I mean, no, nah, I think that was a big moment. You know, it was a big moment. Yeah. It's something I've you know prepped and planned. I think one day maybe I'll, I will do a video where I kind of talk about the breakdowns of like the process of buying a house and like mm. like owning that asset like what you kind of need to start doing like start saving young you know what i mean yeah, like yeah, yeah. Get, the, get the gems out here you know what i mean like i won't get into it too much right, but right. like i started saving for a house like from my first job when i was making like six dollars an hour you know what i mean like mm. oh, I, I remember going to the bank and being like to the banker being like hey i need to allocate my money to start saving they're like all right well cool well, how much money are you making and i was like 200 She's like, oh, 200 a week? I was like, no, 200 a paycheck. Mm. You know what I mean? She looked at me like I was crap. What are you doing in the bank? But I was allocating $20 mm. a month yeah. towards a house, but I was doing that. So sometimes when I look at, look at the house that I bought, it's like, um, like yo, that, that wall like, was my first job. Bought that wall. Mm. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. The second job bought this wall. You know? I see what you're saying. The new job got me the furniture. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah, I like. That's, that's how dope. I kind of look at it. But that's it's just dope, one of those bro. things. No, bro. that's dope. I mean, yeah, you definitely, you definitely plan ahead. Not a lot of people. Not a lot of people say that. You know, as as young as you were at that time, people thought think like that. Exactly. So people, don't, people don't see it through. They don't see the bigger picture, man. Yeah. That's you know, all that lady saw was, you know, two hundred dollars, man. Exactly. You saw. I saw I saw uh, Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> Kingdom. No, well, no, but eventually we will have the pod at my spot, and then like oh damn, we'll get getting to see. a little little uh, we'll CP. You know what I mean? All right, all right. We can, we can put out there, show y'all, show us our. You know, we can change locations sometimes. Drake, right? Mm. Mm. T. Okay, Any big moments? Any big moments? Twenty twenty wrap up. Twenty twenty, man. Mm. I'm be honest, man. No big moments. Twenty twenty for me, man. Mm. Mm. Oh, you just you been thorough. <laughs> <laughs> been, nah, 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 been thorough I'm shit. kidding. Yeah, it was like, it was down year for a lot of us, man. I don't know. Yeah. Like, you know, I was okay. I was, everyone was well, family well, but. Yeah, big. My favorite moment, like. Mm. Tough, tough to say. It's, it's tough to say, say man. Maybe yeah, the Lakers. Say, maybe the Lakers, Lakers, Lakers winning. Uh, I mean, you can say the Lakers winning this shit, man. Anyway. I guess I do. That's an easy cop out, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, could, I could go with that. No, I, I was satisfied. Yeah. I was satisfied, man. But what I really want to talk about, you know, through the year, 
we got some inspirations and mm. you know, we got to talk about our favorite people of the year, man. You know, like Tom people of the year. Who, who was your person of the year? It could be a man, it could be a woman. Mm. You know, that person that that it, that it, you know, inspired you. Dang. You know, man. So I mean, like, I'll, I'll go first because mine probably isn't as deep as theirs. Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. But I mean, for me, you know, obviously, I think, you know, I'm no not a music podcast, but I think Future, as always, has been <laughs> guiding me through so much. Um, but no, on a serious note, I think, though, for me, this year, 2020 has to be The weekend. Got to give it up to The weekend. I think the After Hours album is probably the best album of the year if not potentially can compete with dark twisted fantasy but that's a whole nother discussion mm. one day but it's about a decade yes oh, a decade? Not, maybe all time oh you maybe you you, you gotta mm. like a lot of people listen to that album and we're not gonna get into because we're not like a music yeah. podcast but yeah. like that album has helped me like through a lot yeah. in this year it was earlier than the year so like just listening i still consistently listen to the album and it helps me get through my day so shout out to the weekend Amazing album, best album of 2020. Oh, damn, mm. damn man, that's gonna hit the bar kind of high there, man. But uh, person of the year, you know, I got I got a couple people on mine, but what I wanted to hit off first, you know, this guy was in the the blogs, wasn't looking good for him. Started 2020, man. Mm. Talking about Offset. Oh, mm. oh talking about God. Offset. Man. Okay, you gotta I mean, you gotta think about it, man. All right, I'll 2020 see started right. See what you're doing. There was some rumblings, right? Mm-hmm. You know, he's in the streets. Mm. You know, not looking good for us with his woman Cardi, right? Wife. So they they split up. It wasn't looking good. Mm-mm. But what did he do? He endured. He persevered. He, he persevered. Got back with his queen. And I think that is really what we all strive to do in some type of way or form. Mm. Mm. So you know, we, we persevere and we go through this bad time, but we know what we want in the end. So people overlook that moment with, with, with uh, Offset. Well, damn. You know, you gotta look deep. Did you follow that story heavily then? I did. Because I wanted to know if it was going to pan out. Well, see, the thing is, sure. I think, but Cardi's just built different. Like, she actually thinks, like, like one of her, like, things was like, why would I leave, why would I leave him to find somebody else that's going to cheat on me anyways? She, I think she did mention him a lot. She said that. She said she, she like literally. But, but then, but then he cheated again, and then she left. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Ooh." <laughs> like, he heard that. <laughs> he yeah, like, he did an ad lib. He But then, you know, they got back together. But no shout outs to them. You know, yeah, working it out. Yeah, they're doing it, working it out, stuff like that. You know, I, just, I think he bought her something nice. Too, yeah, man. yeah, it was his birthday the other what? day, man. She got her, yeah. got him a whip. She got him a nice whip. Yeah. Oh, Did he like also say like self proclaiming he gave her like seventeen Birkin bags? I think so. <laughs> like, he put it in the comments when she, like, showed up her collection and shit? I think so. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Honestly. That's probably the same exact money as, as a whip. But, um, dang, okay. Um, my, one of my, um, people of the year, I'll have to, you know, I'll have to give it up to, you know, Latino gang, stand up, uh, Bad Bunny, man. Mm. Bad Bunny. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I ain't gonna lie, like, you know, him, you know, Jay Balvin, and people like in, the, in that, you know, crew and, and group. I don't know, like, gave, like a, like, a different spark, and especially, like, for Bad Bunny, like, giving a lot to, like, the Puerto Rican, you know, community and stuff like that, me being mm-hmm. half Puerto Rican myself. I don't know, it just, like, gives, like, gives such a great sound to, like, you know, the reggaeton and, yeah. and like, you know, what he stands for, what he represents and stuff. It's not, like, like a hardcore rapper. He's, like, he's who he is, you know what I mean? He just, he just he, he's literally, he just gives you himself. And he's yes. like trying to give you an image. He just gives you himself. That's and true. arguably, uh, he came out with two albums this year, and they both went platinum in the same year. I think it was three albums, right? Two. Oh, he you know he had three albums. Yeah, yes, yeah. Three. He three. came out with three, yeah, but yeah, uh, the three. first one uh, came out with his second uh, album um, that did you number one. You know, you sold like millions, and then he came out with the the one recently, mm-hmm. and that one sold millions too in like a short span. It came out like a month ago or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know, man, I just like love, you know, I just love what he does. And obviously in between, you know, he's a philanthropist, helps out a lot in the Spanish community and stuff, giving, you know, people, you know, like a record, you know, people like in Spanish, in the Spanish community, like a big voice and like a big, you know, like a big, like, um, spotlight. Yeah, that's true. I don't really know who he was, honestly, until the beginning of the year. Yeah. Like, uh, he performed Super Bowl. Yeah. I think that was like a, a big thing. And mm-hmm. then, yeah, he dropped the album. Mm-hmm. 
Like, man, I'm about to learn some Spanish, man. So yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe on my resolution list. Yeah, man. it's on my list too. I mean, I don't mm-hmm. like. I mean, obviously, like when it comes to Spanish music, like I listen to you know Dalex, obviously, you mm-hmm. know, and mm-hmm. then uh, Mal Maluma, Maluma, Maluma. I listen to them, but. I know Will's always said, yo, check out Bad Bunny. He said, he said I know you'll like his mm-hmm. stuff. I haven't yet, but I will, I will check him out. Yeah, so man. In 2021, I, I will check him out. There you go, 2021, right? I don't know how you cannot. Like, he, like, that's where the, the women are at, man. Mm, like, if you see, listen to Bad Bunny, it's like, you have to loop, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, Dallas is great. I like Dallas. Dallas is too. good. Maluma, cool, but yeah. Bad Bunny, Bad bro. Bunny, like, yeah. you ain't got no Bad Bunny? You ain't got no bad bunny in Serato. <laughs> you got no bad bunny in Serato, man. Like, and, that, and that's why, you know, that's, like I said, that, that you know, that's what I like about bad bunny. He just gives us like a spotlight, and, like once, you know, for different different cultures, different backgrounds to just like get on the wave and, you know, yeah. salutes everybody, Puerto Rico, all that shit. Yeah, man. That's true. Honorable mention, I'm gonna say just LeBron James. Mm-hmm. You know, pushing the uh, culture forward and um, mm-hmm. all of his movements. You know. Yeah, that's true. You no, know, uh, not just uh, playing basketball. You know, he has a message to bring with this. So definitely shout out to LeBron James mm. and the NBA and on the whole, man. You know, it's crazy. I mean, I know we're not a sports podcast, but like LeBron is literally like he's done so much on and off the court. And like right. the fact that he's carried, he's probably like I think of LeBron and this might be a hot take. It's kind of like the Jay-Z of basketball, basketball. because yeah. in a way like he's the only person that we've actually seen that has been this consistent for this mm-hmm. long in their career in the NBA, you can't name another player. Yeah, and cross over into different. Oh, um, and then, at the, but at the same yeah, time, I mean, like, business. yeah, you're right because, like, like when you look, they try to compare him to Michael Jordan. Yeah. Like, Michael Jordan wasn't yeah. cross. I mean, he did film, and I mean, he did. Yeah, I guess he did do stuff, he, he but did, he, but I'm saying, but for stuff. like the culture, but for the community though, mm-hmm. like, which I know Michael Jordan did contribute. To the, he course. did quietly, but I'm saying as a public figure and like like pushing real like racial boundaries and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. LeBron's never like never like shy about Yeah, he that. stuck his dick out for sure for yeah. the culture. And I I, you know, give him all that all the gratitude and all that stuff. Yeah. No, LeBron's fun to hate on, but at the end of the day, kind of similar to Kobe, um, when they're out of the league, you're gonna you know, you always miss them. Mm-hmm. Oh for sure. That's one of those things. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. But we'll have Bronny in there soon, so Bronny Pack. Bronny, Bronny Pack. Bronny Pack. <laughs> the streets waiting on Bronny, man. <laughs> the streets, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, shit, one of my honorable mentions. Um, real quick, I don't want to get too sentimental about this, but uh, Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick okay. Boseman. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but his story and stuff, like how we had like learned from like literally just like a shock value of like him like battling uh, cancer and stuff, and mm-hmm. you know, you know, evidently falling to cancer. Um. I don't know, man. He he like his work ethic and the way he presented himself. Like he did, you know, he never wanted to anybody know that stuff, and he just yeah. worked and went, you know, did like movies and all with like also probably just like battling cancer and going through chemo and all these things, but also having a high level of success with his movies and stuff. Like he, mm-hmm. I love all of his movies. But that's that's true love. That's that's love to the art. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I love that about that. You know, someone battling something like that. I can only imagine. You know, like cancer is like a crazy. You know, feet to like go through and stuff mm. and that. So I just want to like, you know, condolences to Chavos and the family. Um, and like I said, one of, a huge honorable mention to me because that work ethic and you know how he was so responsible with his platform about it and stuff and how he just passed. It's like we just were so like baffled, and that's something that I really admire. You know, like how he was able to go through all that stuff and create amazing like movies that we all love. That's true, man. It wasn't selfish, man. Could have been selfish and been like. Yeah. I'm going through something right now. Yeah, and just he, like never make those movies. Never make those you know? movies, but he provided mm-hmm. for his fan. Yeah. You know, so. so those are some good honorable mentions, man. You know, I noticed we didn't mention any ladies in there. Mm. You know, I like the the ladies did impact us. You know, Definitely. 2020. I'm gonna just be brief with it. I'm gonna say, sweetie, impacted the culture for me. Just just real brief, you know. Whenever her music played, the energy shifted. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna just throw that out there real quick. Okay. You know I mean? But um, definitely. You know, 2020 wrap up. You know, 20. Hope 2021 is much better. Mm-hmm. But um, any last words? Any other thing you want to bring up? Any? Um, I think 2021, you guys. I think you know. I just another. There's another year in the books. You know, we started this podcast in 2019. We made it through a whole 2020 amidst you know COVID. I you know I one thing I do want to do an honorable mention is actually to us because. Through COVID, a lot of people took breaks on their podcasts. They like, 
you know, try to go remote or they like literally some people literally took breaks because they didn't want to get together. But we took that risk for y'all. Uh, I mean, I know we joke about it a lot, but but seriously, like I know it's hard to, you know, go out and, you know, meet up to do this and like try to explain that to your family. Like, well, you're just doing a podcast. Why are you guys meeting up during COVID? And this was at the height of COVID. Yeah. But we understood like, yo, people are inside and they, they need that outlet. And, you know, we're passionate about it to the point where we were going to do that. So kind of kudos to us. We did take that risk. Luckily, we're all good. Mm. Um, so it was well worth the risk. But 2021, definitely going to, like, amp it up, step it up. We have a lot of interesting and fun things coming. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Definitely. So please look forward to it. Stay tuned, yo. As always, yo, follow us on the podcast, at the Sweet Man Podcast on Instagram, um, on YouTube, Spotify. Um and shit, just share, yo, you know, just share it, share it to everybody, and like, yeah, yeah. and let's really, like, let's really get this here popping, man. We're gonna keep putting Tampa on the map. Yeah, for sure, man. A lot of, not, a lot of new teens on the way. Mm. A lot of new teens, man, but that is all, man. Sweet Man Podcast, episode 48. We are out. out. Yeah. See you next out. year. See you next year, guys.